Hi gang, uh, we are going to learn about lattice multiplication today. So uh, here is what a normal problem would look like and lattice multiplication is good for uh, multi-digit numbers being multiplied together. Um, so this is how we would set it up uh, back when I learned how to do it in school. Um, you know, we would do 5 times 7, 5 times 4 is 20 plus 3, and then use our placeholder there, 1 times 7, 1 times 4, and then add it all up together. and come up with 705. So now we're going to learn how to do the lattice multiplication. So the first part is to set up your boxes. Now there are uh, lattice boxes that you can find online, um, especially if maybe you're just starting to learn how to do this, but I really like to try to teach my kids uh, how to do it on their own because you don't always have those pre-made boxes. So. What we're going to do is I'm going to set up a big box. Now you can do this box by box if you want to, if that is easier for you. But basically since we have a two digit by two digit number, we need two boxes here and then we're going to cut that in half and we need two boxes going this way. And what we're going to do is draw some diagonal lines across these boxes. Now to help me remember, I sometimes will put an X in these corners. So I put an X in the top left hand corner and the bottom right hand corner and that kind of gives me um, a, a visual of how to set up my diagonals. Also can put dots in these in all of the corners of the remaining boxes. And then you're just connecting the dots. Now you want to draw diagonals past the box down here to the left and to the bottom. And I'll show you why in just a moment. So now we've got our boxes set up. And like I said, if it's easier for you, you can just draw separate boxes. So this would be my first box. This would be my second box. Third box. And you can see that that is not exactly perfect, but it will still work. Draw your diagonals and then you have your lattice set up that way. So, either way. Now, I need my numbers. My numbers for my problem are gonna go right across the top and down the side. It does not matter which number goes on the top and which number goes on the side. What does matter is the placement of these numbers. You want your tens place to be over one column, your ones place to be over the second column, and then the same for the sides, tens place and ones place. All right, now we get to multiply. Sometimes I use another sheet of paper, another corner of a paper, and I draw a little arrow in the corner to help me decide where my product is going to go. So if I slide this down and cover up one of these boxes, all I can see is the 4 and the 5 here. So I'm going to multiply those two numbers and put it right here in this box where this arrow is pointing. So 4 times 5 is 20. Another great thing about lattice multiplication is you can start in any box you want. You don't have to do it in any specific order. I like to start with this box because I just start with these two numbers and then it's less confusing. I'm going to slide my paper up here. Now I need to multiply 7 times 1. <clears throat> Since 7 times 1 is going to give me a one digit number, I'm going to put a 0 here to hold my place in the tens place and a 7 down here. I don't want to write a 7 up here because that's going to give me 70 in this box and that is not what 7 times 1 is. Now I've got these other two boxes to fill in. At this point you can use the paper if you still need to. I've got 4 times 1. They're going to go in this box right here. 4 times 1 is 4. And then down here I've got 7 times 5. 35 goes there. Now I'm done with my multiplication. I'm going to cross these numbers out that are on the outside and I'm going to show you why in a minute because sometimes those extra numbers can get confusing during this next step. The next step is to add. I've got all of these numbers inside my boxes and I do not want to add these numbers that are outside the box so that's why I cross them out. We're going to start on the right hand side just like we normally would when we're adding. We're going to start here 
And I'm just going to follow this line. I call this sliding down the mountain. That sometimes helps people to remember uh, how to add up the numbers. So we're going to go down this first line and on the right side of this first line is a 5. And since 5 is the only thing in this area, the 5 is just going to drop down right here on the bottom. Now we're going to go to the next set, the next slide. So 7 plus 3 plus 0 is 10. Just like when we're adding, we're going to write the ones place down here and we're going to transfer that one over into the next area where we're going to be adding. Now I've got all of these numbers to add up down this slide. 1 plus 0 plus 4 plus 2 is 7. And then here, since I have a zero in the thousands place, I don't have I don't have to write it. You can write it there if you want to, but I already have my product, my answer, 705, just like my product over here in this one. Uh, so that's how you do lattice multiplication, uh, and thanks so much.